Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Greetings to all of you this morning. Uh, grace, peace, mercy uh, be with you all wherever you are today. So thank you all for joining here. For Dave, thanks for being here. Joining us from Bonnie Lake. Be safe on the roads. Thank you, Lowell, Joan, Carmel, Sonia. Glad you're watching. Greetings to you as well, Dorothy. Um, but thank you all for being here this morning. The, the devotion that we're going to be looking at, the text, the story that's going to be at the heart of things today is from the Gospel of John. And it's going to be the, the 15th chapter, and we're going to be sharing in verses 12 through 17. So once again, our text for this morning is John 15, 12 through 17. And as you can see by my background, I am back out on my own deck, back in... Um, the comfort of our own home, and uh, it's kind of nice to be back here as well. Um, but uh, before we gather and and uh, and share in this story, why don't we first begin with uh, a word of prayer this morning? Holy and gracious God, we give you thanks uh, for the gift of your Son, the one through whom you you embrace us as family. May we, may we know and trust that deeply in our lives, that we are your beloved children. And may that inspire us to be your beloved ones here in this world. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning, Judy. Glad you could be here with us this morning. Um, so uh, give me an amen in the comments this morning. Or yes, or thumbs up, whatever, you know, kind of whatever you want to leave in those comments this morning. But um, in response to this, uh, ha have you ever heard this particular saying, phrase, uh, you get to choose your friends, but you don't get to choose your family? Right? And if you have, just let me know in the comments there uh, this morning. But, I, you know, likely I'm going to guess that you, that you have, that you've heard that phrase before. Um, but I, I want to say that I don't, I don't necessarily agree with it fully. And I do, I, I agree uh, that you don't get to, to choose, or you get to choose your friends, right? For sure. You get to make that decision of who you call a friend. But I do think that at times, at times you also, you get the opportunity to choose your family. Right? Because you know, family is, family is more than, than blood. It's more than, you know, some biological connection because really family at its heart at its core is it's about care it's about support it's about love and so i think that it is possible then for you to not only get to choose who you call friends but you also have an opportunity to choose who you call family. And so when it comes, you know, <laughs> look and trust. Yeah. Trust is a heart of family as well, Dorothy. Great. Thank you for sharing that. And you know, that makes me think, you know, so when you're looking, um, or when you're going to call, decide to, you know, call someone a friend or choosing, uh, who you want to be friends with or family with, what are, what are some of the things that you look for? You know, to help you to to make that decision. And I invite you, kind of like Dorothy has, uh, to share maybe what are some of those answers for you. And you can share them in the comments this morning. I mean, when you're going to call someone a friend, what are the what are the characteristics maybe that you that you look for? What is it that 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 guides you to say that someone is your friend, that someone is uh, your family, or what helps you to identify them? They call them friends, and family. <laughs> Dave, so I think you're splitting hairs. I like that. I love your puns. They're so fantastic. Thank you for sharing it this morning. You know, all these, uh, and I ask this question because I think, you know, these are important questions for us to understand about ourselves, uh, to know what our answers would be. And it's, and I bring it up because it's actually, I think it's something that we we're hearing about in our devotional reading this morning, which we're going to get to right now. And so if you want to grab your Bible, um, if you have it beside you, and if you don't, don't worry, I'm going to share that story with you. It's uh, from the Gospel of John, the 15th chapter, and we're going to share verses 12 through 17 with one another this morning. 
So here we go. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. And you are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer because a servant does not know what the master is doing, but I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from God. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last so that God will give you whatever you ask in my name. I'm giving you these commands so that you may love one another. Friends, right? That's what we hear. Jesus referring to the disciples as to what he's calling those who are following him. They're not servants anymore, right? They're not students. They're not even really disciples. They are his friends. And they aren't his friends, we hear, because they chose him. Rather, they are his friends because Jesus has chosen them and says that he has shared everything with them, right? And I think that's maybe slightly different than our our own friendships and our own family relationships where ours tend to uh, kind of revolve around what someone offers us and what we then um, can offer our friends, right? The mutuality, the reciprocity of kindness, of care, of compassion, helpfulness, you know, all of which are essential um, to those relationships the friendship that Jesus offers, that Jesus gives to us, it is not based on what any of us has to offer God, but fully, rather, it is based upon at everything that God has to offer us in Christ, namely God's abiding love, which is a, a free gift. A free gift that God shares with you and me and with all, no matter who they are, no matter where they are, God's love, right? It has no boundaries. God's love it has no limits. It's a love that's given to you and to me and to all. All people who God sees as more than just friends. We are God's family. We are God's beloved children. God's love, uh, it has chosen you and me and, and all people in all of creation. And through us, well, God, God calls us to extend that same gift, that same love to, to everyone, to everything. And so how can you be God's extension of love to others? Now, how can you do that today and the next day and the next day and the next day? So that other people, so that all those around you, well, that they too might know that they are God's friends whom God has chosen. And more than that, that they too are God's family, God's beloved children. Well, thank you this morning for, for being here with me. All of you who I call friends and more than that, my family, thank you for joining in this uh, devotion this morning. Let us uh, close this morning with a word of prayer and blessing. Holy and gracious God, your love that you pour out into this world, it surrounds each and every one of us and all of creation. May we embody that love for, for one another and for all people. May through our own lives, uh, may your love be revealed so that all people would know that they are your chosen ones, that they are your friends, that they are truly your family, your beloved children. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope all of you have a, a, a great day today. Um, enjoy the beauty of this day here in the Northwest. If you're in somewhere else, I hope the weather is beautiful as well. Um, but as you go, as you go through your day today, know that right that you are you are God's chosen, that you are God's uh, beloved friends, that you are God's beloved family, and that the love that God shares with you and shows to you in Christ, well, God empowers you with that to be able to share it 
and to show it uh, to one another and to all. Um, have a wonderful day and God bless you all.